Hey guys, Riley Spanish here, uh, filming again in my new work vehicle without a proper setup, but um, nothing new has really come out that's piqued my interest, but I was at Target. They've got new mystery garbage, basically. Uh, Fairfield Company stuff, repackaged product. I got two different ones. Uh, they've got the Ultimate Collection 11. I remember these things being at uh, Target's, or I'm sorry, not Target's, at uh, Walgreens, uh, maybe like two years ago, I think I bought one, something like that. And then this Mega Collector's Kit, which I've never seen before. Both of them seem to contain a bunch of uh, trick or trade packs and then some other stuff, but this is 50 total Pokemon cards, including one foil, probably just a reverse hollow common uncommon, three mystery blister blister packs i'm assuming two trick or trade packs and one card guard mini binder um so junk trick or trade packs mini binder stuff like that and then hopefully a uh you know a somewhat decent spread of actual blister packs but you know probably like sv base of city and flames would be my guess um but they could prove me wrong here the other one the uh Jeez, this is difficult to open. The Ultimate Collection 11 seems a little more interesting, so I'll save that one for a second. And we've got actually like a mini uh, actual binder. That's kind of cool. I don't think I'll necessarily use it. Maybe I'll put in like a specialty set like Detective Pikachu in there or something small like that. That's actually kind of useful. Uh, I will not lie. Not something I need multiple of, so... You know, this just for the sake of experimentation. A couple trick or trade packs. I don't really need to open those. Everybody knows what's in them. Three, they're not blister packs. They're just sleeved boosters. But SV Base, Obsidian Flames, Paldea Evolved. Not terrible. Um, glad there's a Paldea Evolved at least. And here's those 50 cards, I'm assuming. And the foil on top, I can already see, is a promo Hisuian Basculin, which was from, uh, I think, Silver Tempest one-pack blisters. These things are just jammed in there. It's like the, the box is smaller than the dimensions of a Pokemon card. Well, let's try to sort through these. Um... XY base set sand isle that's an older bulk card there it's also super creased and damaged like you can see the crease marks on it that's insane to throw this in here like that is literally just trash I don't know how they even had a card that beat up at Fairfield it's like they're doing what I do and buy like people's collections XY evolutions need a Reno uh, not like crispy new but not nearly as bad as that XY base card we've got a Mareep from Scarlet Violet Coridon. that's like a deck exclusive version that's a non hollow rare some fusion strike mostly modern bulk a couple of older cards thrown in the mix there though which was weird to see especially one that was like utterly destroyed a battle academy uh, Welder, Battle Academy Great Ball, Galarian Rapidash, of course some energy cards, a lot of energy cards, some code cards, and that Hisuian Basculin um, Sword and Shield promo card that I mentioned. So, kind of a bizarre lineup there, just being that it had pretty much all modern bulk and then the two older cards, but that one was just like devastated. It was completely destroyed. Start with Scarlet Violet Base. See if I can make anything happen out of these three packs. Wouldn't mind hitting a, a carp from Paldea Evolved out of, uh, you know, a junk mystery product. Also, this was. I want to say 20 bucks um, doing the card trick, whoops, which is actually not terrible for what it is. Um, I don't think it's really like particularly scammy price wise. It's just junk. That's the only problem with it. Um, 
you know, however, if, if this was for a kid, I could see it actually being kind of worthwhile. I mean, you get three packs, you get two trick or trade packs and that little binder. This is actually kind of decent for a kid that mystery 11, um, little more interesting what's inside that so we'll take a look at that one in a moment here through the uh, obsidian flames pack sir charizard incoming larvesta lunatone and a nothing from either pack so far try to prop my phone up a little better best for last paldea evolved Still uh, going to be a continuous like dip in my video amounts. I finished the home buying process this week, and then after that, I start the uh, you know moving process and everything involved with that, which is going to be you know its own set of challenges and things keeping me busy and um, spending my money that would normally go to cards. So going to definitely still be a pretty sizable gap between videos. Um, hoping that I can film, even though I won't be moved in yet, hoping I can film my uh, first um, Shrouded Fable video in what will be like my card room at the new house. Here we go, Ultimate Collection 11. One pin, one oversized card, one mystery card, one blister, 40 sleeves, one knockout collection, which is the thing I think is interesting four trick or trade packs and two coins this one was 25 bucks and actually still has kind of the same amount of packs it is a knockout which is two one blister and then four trick or trade so more trick or trade packs um no like 50 random cards just one random bonus card it says the knockout it is it is not the one with evolving skies but that's fine I did not expect it to be. What's the jumbo? It is Cyclozar EX. Blister is SV Base. Four trick or trade packs. Set of sleeves is Vivid Voltage ETB sleeves with the Pikachu V Max. Bonus card is a Miraidon EX from Scarlet Violet Base. Could be worse. At least it's an EX and not just like a foil you know reverse foil card and coins and pin Hisuian Zoroark pin and this is actually a sick coin with Pikachu Eevee and Cinderace that's really cool other coin is Zaraora um, so you know it, it is kind of just miscellaneous junk but one of those things that could be worse could be better let's do the Scarlet Violet base blister and then open that knockout collection, which I think is the one that has, um, was it like Astral Radiance and Lost Origin or something inside? I don't remember. I think I've opened like, you know, maybe one of those before. Scarlet Violet base pack. Judge, Palpad, and a Magnazone EX. Did get a pull from a pack. Not a good one necessarily, but it is a pull. Sorry, I keep having to wipe the sweat from my brow. I have the AC going, but not as high as it could be, and it is about a million degrees and 100% humidity here in Florida right now. And I am sitting in a parking lot. And the knockout collection. This is the one that has like stickers in it. Astral and Silver Tempest. It was not Lost Origin, it was Tempest. And then you get the little promo pack, not promos, but just like uh, Cosmos foil versions of these other cards. All right, see if I can, I'll finish with Astral Radiance. That set is more special to me than Silver Tempest. See if I can get a hit from one of these Sword and Shield era packs, which I am much more partial to personally. All right, Silver Tempest did have a good code card, but there's been lots of print runs of this where that does and does not matter. Curly a reverse and a hollow Metacham. 
Last pack magic here. Astral Radiance. Can I get something from these new mystery boxes? Got a white code card, but let's get a trainer gallery hit. How about that? Interestingly, the Target had um, those Shaman V-Star boxes that I usually get from Walmart. Reggie Ice and Mighty Ana. Nothing there. Um, but they have them for 40 bucks, so I didn't pick any of those up because uh, they're cheaper at Walmart, but I also haven't seen them at Walmart in a while, so sort of a catch-22 there. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and uh, stay tuned. Be patient for me. I will have a much better setup for filming videos at home once this is all over. Thank you.